November! I feel like we are hurtling towards the end of this year and the end of our 2021 calendar blanket project, our Mighty Marla Minute. This month is the 11th stitch strip and for November we are going to be using the high rise stitch. This stitch looks like the front of a high rise apartment building. It's very geometric in shape. You've got these cute little windows and you've got little masonry brickwork <laughs> over top of each of the windows. And I really like the way it gives me a cozy feel. Like it's November, we're all kind of getting into our little homes and we're gonna be looking at our windows at falling snow the high rise stitch. This is a two row repeater and if you've got an odd number of rows in your blanket, don't worry. I'm going to show you where you're going to be putting your border, whether you end on an odd row or an even row in the tutorial and no matter which row you end on, it's going to look really nice because this is a kind of a cool stitch. So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, we'll head on over to the craft table and we'll stitch it up together. Please visit our shop and purchase a pattern. It helps support our show. And we'll put a link to our shop in the description box down below. In order to make our November strips, you're going to want your two colors around 90 yards of each color. I've got a size four medium acrylic here, the same yarn I've been using all along. You want a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, perhaps some stitch markers to help keep track of what row you're on, and the hook we're using is a 5.5 millimeter, also known as an I or a 9. And that's the same hook we've been using all along as well. Of course you want your blanket too, and once you've got all that together, we can get started. We're going to begin with our main pattern color, make a slip knot, and we're going to chain 13 to begin. Once you have 13 chains, you're going to find the fifth chain from the hook. So count back one, two, three, four, five. Here it is here. You're going to double crochet into that fifth chain. So those turning chains count as a double crochet and there's a double crochet right next to it. Chain two, skip the next two chains, double crochet into the next two chains. So chain two, skip two, double crochet into each of the next two chains, chain two, skip the next two chains and double crochet into the last two chains. There we go. And that's row one. This is a two row repeater. So this is what your odd rows are going to look like. Two double crochet, a chain two space, two double crochet, a chain two space, and two double crochet. And each stitch is worked into its own stitch. So we're not combining stitches. We've got, looks like the, Roy, the, the Roman numeral two, a space, the Roman numeral two, a space, and the Roman numeral two. That is row one or an odd row. Every row begins with a chain three. That chain three counts as a double crochet. For row two or the even rows, we chain three, turn, this counts as a double crochet and we're only focused on the big chain two spaces. We're going to work four double crochet stitches into that chain two space. So that's four double crochet into the chain two space. Skip to the next chain two space and work four double crochet into it. four double crochet into that space. Skip over the next double crochet, find the chain at the top of the turning chains, it'll always be the chain that sits right next to that stitch, and double crochet into the top of that chain. And that is row two, or an even row, where we kind of fill in the spaces. Let's do two more rows together. Chain three, chain three always counts as a double crochet, we turn our work, and row one is mostly double crochets, all sort of spread apart. So this stitch right here is already accounted for because that chain three counts as a double crochet. So you're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And if you ever get a little bit confused, just look down a couple rows and make sure that your stitches are sitting on top of each other from the matching row previous. 
you're going to chain two, skip the next two stitches, double crochet into each of the middle two stitches, chain two, skip the next two stitches, and double crochet into each of the last two stitches. So that will be one actual stitch and a double crochet worked into the top of the turning chains, which we're treating as a double crochet. So the chain three that begins every row counts as a double crochet. Don't miss it when you get across to the end. So you'll have two double crochet, a chain two space, two double crochet, a chain two space, and two double crochet. That's an odd row. Odd row has a nice big open window in it, two of them and the even row, chain three to begin. The chain three counts as a double crochet, and we're only concerning ourselves with the nice big spaces. Four double crochet into each of those big chain two spaces. So there's one, and four double crochet into the next space. Three, I need one more. There we go. Four double crochet into the space. Skip the last stitch and find the top of the turning chains. It'll be the chain right next to that stitch. Just double crochet right into the top of the turning chains from the previous row. And there you go. Row one or odd row is open. Row two or the even row is sort of closed up again. And then odd even. Let's do one more set together and then I'll turn you loose. All odd rows and even rows begin with a chain three. We turn our work. That first stitch is accounted for because the chain three counts as a double crochet, so you double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip two, double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Chain two, skip two stitches, and double crochet into each of the last two stitches. And one of them is an actual stitch, one of them is the top of the turning chains. There we go. So that's an odd row completed. You've got those two nice big windows there. Chain three, counts as a double crochet. And now we're just concerning ourselves with these two big open windows. So four double crochet into each of those big chain two spaces. Skip the last stitch, find the top of the turning chains, and double crochet into the top of those turning chains, because that counts as a double crochet, and there you go. Odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. That's the first six rows completed. You can repeat those two rows, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, all the way up to the top. I'll see you at the end of row 78. That is the end of row 77, so if you are finishing your strip on an odd row, it's going to look like this, and you will work the three shells across the top of your shell or your strip starting in this space between these two double crochet, the middle shell will be between these two double crochet, and the third shell will be between these double crochet. That is row 78 for me, that is the last row ending on an even row, so I'm going to snip my yarn. Don't need very much tail. Fasten off and take a moment to weave in your tails across the back of your stitches. If you ended on an odd row, just bring your tail down and weave it back and forth through some of the loops or stitches at the bottom of that solid row. It's time for the border, so we're going to grab our border color now. And this should look very familiar to everybody by this point. We are going to identify the three places that we are working our three shells across the top 
of our strip one two and three there's the corner over there we join our yarn with a slip stitch in the first corner space chain three the chain three counts as a double crochet we are using the granny shell stitch two more double crochet into that corner space completes the first shell we are not chaining between shells along the straightaway we are only chaining two in the corners three double crochet into the space between the two big fans of that last row and once again if you're doing an odd row or you ended on an odd row you're working these three double crochet into the space between these little guys right here find the next corner space three double crochet into that corner and those are the three shells across the top of our strip done chain one to begin the corner grab your blanket it's time for the join as you go we've got our blankets we're joining to the side of the October stitch or the Harlequin stitch and of course we're focusing on the corner space to start and then all of the spaces in between sets of shells all the way down that long edge so we've already chained one to start our corner we're going to join with a slip stitch into the corner space of the adjacent edge before we leave this space we're going to work three more double crochet into it to complete the corner because corners are usually shell chain two shell and this shell or three double crochet becomes the first shell running down the long edge don't forget that in between shells you want to reach across to the other side to the space between shells and slip stitch to join we're not chaining we're just slip stitching to join move to the next row edge row edges are nice and easy to see on this particular stitch you're either working around the three double crochet or I should say the three chain post at the edge of an open row or a double crochet at the edge of a closed row it's either a chain three or a double crochet depending on what side you're on three double crochet around that whole thing and then you slip stitch to join in the space between shells on the other side you know the drill one shell around each row edge if you've got 78 rows like me you'll have 78 shells down the side one shell for every row edge and I'll see you down at the bottom I've just put my last shell in the last space so around the last edge this is row one of the strip down here and I'm going to start into my corner so I'm going to chain one and the last place that I join is the bottom corner space on the adjacent strip there we go chain one more to finish turning the corner and now I can work across the bottom so three double crochet into that same space and now you can see that nice neat little join between the two strips no chains we're going to put the next chain or the next three double crochet into that space or into the you can use the chain or you can use the actual space there in between those two double crochet right in the middle that's what you're aiming for no chains find the next space over here and shell chain two shell in the corner three double crochet chain two and now we turn the blanket we're completely connected three more double crochet into the same space before we leave this becomes the first shell on the second long side and that is the bottom done so shell chain two shell and of course there's a join right in the middle of that corner shell in the bottom middle I have a little tail to weave in here shell chain two shell in the other bottom corner space and off you go three double crochet around each row edge up the other side and I'll see you back at the top
And the last shell of the row gets worked into the same space that we joined our yarn in originally to begin the border. Three double crochet. There it is. Chain two to turn the last corner. Find the top of the chain three that began and join with a slip stitch. Snip your yarn. Fasten off and weave in your tails. That is strip number 11. And I just love all those windows. Nice geometric change. And there we go. That's strip number 11. The high rise strip. So just in time for cozy November, we have a cozy little strip to bury ourselves in. It's nice and quick. We will be coming to you with the December strip a little earlier than the first Friday of December. We're going to aim for that. So definitely the first week of December, hopefully closer to the beginning of the month because we know a lot of you are putting these blankets together as gifts and you're eager to get them finished. And we do have a border we're going to add. Uh, now it's a border that we've cooked up for this blanket, but if you're in a super hurry, once you get the December strip on, you can add whatever border you want because this whole blanket is rimmed with simple granny shells. So any kind of border you would put on a granny square blanket, you can also add to this one. So lots of flexibility in the border for you there. But that said, we will see you for that in a few weeks. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed making the November strip along with us, and we will see you soon here on the Jada and Stitches show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have a wonderful, cozy week. Bye, everybody. Hi, everybody. Mr. and Stitches here. Thank you for watching today. Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh. And don't forget to subscribe!